Today in the Brick Lab, we're going to be taking a look at a custom Powerless Lloyd minifigure and an Oni Titan minifigure. In episode 84, the last episode of the Sons of Garmadon series, Lloyd loses his green energy and his eyes go from green to black. Unfortunately, the minifigure version doesn't feature the new black eyes and it still features the green eyes, but we can fix that. Now, honestly, I probably wouldn't have devoted a video to this, but I got a request and I thought about it and I was like, you know what? That actually is an interesting idea. Let's see what we can come up with. So first up, we of course, we have the original Lloyd face, which is the face Lloyd used before he became a Lego Ninjago movie star. It looks pretty good, and it's the easiest fix out there. Of course, you didn't come here because you wanted an easy fix. You came here because you wanted to explore your options, and explore we will. So next up, we also have original Zane face. Now this was the face Zane used before he became the Titanium Ninja, and it looks pretty good as a replacement Lloyd face. Uh, next up, we have some random generic city faces. They kind of have a grim look here. None of them really have what I was going for though. There's this one, a Lego City cop face. I really like the how the eyebrows kind of match Lloyd's. The only problem is it looks a bit too cheerful for the Lloyd in this season, because Lloyd was a bit grim. So next up we have this face, which is just like one of those faces, but with a bit more sweat. It's kind of more appropriate for a green ninja on the run, because he's a little bit nervous about when he's going to be caught. And then we have this face. This face came with Chad the cheerleader from the Ninjago City dock set. It was also used in a few other promotional sets in the past. I really like it the best, I think, out of all the heads so far. It's kind of serious. And also on the back we have this scared expression here, which is pretty appropriate for when Lloyd gets caught. We also have this face, which comes from the minifigure Series 8 disc jockey. Uh, the eyebrows do look pretty good, and well, the mouth, I'm really not fond of that smile, as I've said before. I mean, Lloyd's supposed to be on the run here. He's a grim resistance fighter. He, w he ain't gonna be doing much smiling. Next up, kind of similar to that face, we do have this face, which is from Clay from the Nexo Knights line. It looks pretty good, the eyebrows are nice and thick, and, well, that smile is troublesome. But we can always swap to his alternate face, which is an angry grimace, a growl, a snarl, a lot of yelling. I don't know, he looks pretty mad. That's the face that you'd want to see leading the resistance. Next up, and I'd say probably my favorite out of all of these, would be this one here. It's from the minifigure series 15, or is it 16 Spy. He's kind of got this earpiece here, and the expression is, well, it's kind of what you'd expect to see on Lloyd. It's actually the one he wears for most of the season. Lastly, and this one I kind of enjoyed, we can give Lloyd the face from the series 7 Aztec Warrior, and that one is, I think, pretty much perfect. It's basically a Lloyd with war paint. Um, it kind of mirrors Harumi's look that she wears throughout the series. And I know it's not canon or anything, but I think it's hysterical. So if I was gonna switch Lloyd's faces up, I'd probably just stick with this one just for the fun of it. Next up, we have the Oni Titan minifigure. There were actually no requests for this one, but I just threw it together because I thought it looked cool. Um, well, I will say, uh, before we continue, I should probably be completely honest with you. Um, this plant here actually isn't attached. It, I'm lying to you. I actually attached it with stick. <laughs> I'm, I let you down. I'm sorry. The crying made it worse. We should just move on. Um, so this minifigure is pretty basic. All I did was take one of the soldiers from the, from the Air Jitsu Battleground set, and I just removed the gray ninja mask and popped on this little hat here. I also took a, a gray neck bracket, attached this brown clip here, and a brown stem, and that was pretty much it. It's, like I said, a simple figure. And I really don't know why you'd need a minifigure scale Oni Titan minifigure unless you're doing like stop motion or something and you don't feel like buying the set and so you just use this on a green screen and green screen it into your film. I don't know. I just threw it out here because I thought somebody would enjoy it. Now, to be honest, you can get... I use Sticky Tack to stick my leaf onto the stem there, but you don't have to use Sticky Tack. With some careful balancing, you could actually put that on. If you tilt the tree stem thingy up high enough and then just drop this on and drop the leaves on, it'll kind of balance there. It's not the best, and honestly, I just stick with a plain stem. If you don't have these ninja minifigures from Air Jitsu Battlegrounds, you can always swap that out for a different minifigure. I think this minifigure, which is from the Nexo Knight sets from last year, would actually be a decent substitute. The only problem is it's going to be hard finding a neck bracket in sand blue, and if you swap it out for brown, it's going to kind of be obvious that it's a neck bracket. Oh well. I guess that's not the most important detail. So one thing I forgot to point out, the Stone Ninja minifigure kind of does have this alternate expression on the back of the face, but if you position the tree stem just right, it's probably not going to be noticeable. Of course, we're not just limited to that. If we take the Lord Kraken Skull minifigure and remove his cape, put on this dashing dark bluish gray bracket instead, put our little tree trunk thingy on there, and then pop on his head and maybe a hat. That makes a decent substitute too. It probably looks a little bit better, honestly, because he doesn't have that on the back of his head, and he actually kind of looks like stone. Hat's a little bit light, but I guess we could give that a pass. But, I mean, this is a goofy minifigure, it's not really canon to the show, and you probably don't need one anyway, but whatever. 
If you enjoyed it, there it is. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe, and do all that other good stuff. And if you want to see more of my content, feel free to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, links in the description below. And stay tuned because we have more custom minifigures and more custom builds on the way. I am Sam, and I will see you next time.